What's good everybody? Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. Today we're going to look to see how our potatoes did. If you don't remember, we grew them in fabric pots, plastic pots, and some big old wooden potato bins. So stay tuned. Let's see how these suckers turned out and which one worked the best. In a little bit I'm going to get into these potatoes and I'm going to show you kind of what our results were for this year. Now, a little history behind this. I made these potato, what are you doing? Get that shovel out of here. I'm a potato. Oh goodness, yes, you're a potato. I'm a potato. Potato. I'm a potato. Get out of here. I'm trying to be a professional here. We've got a, a professional production, not a professional production. I'm just saying, just saying. So a little bit of history here. I built these potato bins last year and we put potatoes in them, which I thought were regular potatoes, turned out to be sweet potatoes, didn't grow them all that well because I didn't know they were sweet potatoes, so we didn't get very good tubers out of it. Lesson learned, right? Got this new garden here. We stuck the potato bins in the garden, but then I wanted to experiment with whether or not buckets versus fabric pots versus these potato bins. What was gonna give me the best yield? Cause I like me some taters. I do, I like me some taters. I already came out and harvested the fabric pot potatoes because they didn't look all that good at some point and I wanted to get them harvested in case I was gonna lose something. So I already pulled them out and let me tell you, didn't really get amazing results. I got some potatoes, but I didn't get what I thought I was gonna get. I think it had to do with the aeration of the roots but I don't know for sure. Could also have been the growing conditions, but what are you gonna do, folks? That said, let's get into this. We're gonna start with the plastic pots first and see what our results were there. First one up is gonna be this guy. Now, you can see there's no green left. We're kind of late, I think, in terms of harvesting these potatoes, but it's okay because they're just kinda hanging out there in the dirt. Well, at least I think it's okay. But I'm about to find out. Such a goober, you know that? Potatoes! Potatoes. Since we just got a bucket, I'm not really gonna use this sucker. I'm just gonna loosen the soil up a little bit, start to see what I feel, figure out what's in here. I should start to feel some taters. Oh, look at that! We got us a tater. A potato? That's a pretty big one too, huh? That's a beautiful potato. I'm gonna take the dirt that I'm swishing around. I'm just gonna put it over here in the uh, garden box next to me. So that way I'm not wasting any dirt. Got another one. That's a little guy. Oh yeah, look, we got a lot of little ones. These are breakfast taters. Aren't you glad I order so much stuff on the internet that you have all these boxes to use? Yeah, seriously. I was just doing my part. The Zulily box came in handy. All right, now we're on like the third layer here. I'm only going down probably like a few inches at a time just so I don't miss any of these smaller ones. Oh, look, you hear that? My supervisor showed up. You want a tomato? Oh, there we go. Got another one. And another one. All right, so out of that bucket, that one bucket, that's what we got. It's all right, not bad, okay? Could be better. We got some big ones. We got lots of these little smalls. This turkey is like shooting this tomato all over my <laughs> legs. I'm like, you're killing me, ma'am. It's gone now. He ate it and it's on my legs. She, she ate it. She. I think we've established. It's a she. Let's go see if one of the other buckets is doing a little bit better. This one here does have some growth on it. It actually started growing some new leaves. I'm pretty sure that they kind of start over. I don't really know. Are they, it's like your second round of potatoes. At least that's what they tell me. But uh, I'm not looking for a second round. We're just gonna call it a day. Cause honestly, I'm just trying to get this garden done. So let's see what we got. Whoa, 
They're in there good. All right. Well, there we go. Oh, there's a big tater. Yep. Got some big ones here. Of course, because I didn't label these just like Courtney doesn't label, I don't know what any of them really are. I remember some of them were Pontiacs and some of them weren't. That's how we roll here at Life on Beagle Road. They're all potatoes. Yeah, another big one. I can't decide if these wanted to turn red or something. Yeah, I don't really know. But I do know that we're not getting a whole lot more. I'm kind of seeing a trend here because the fabric pots also had these and we didn't get very many of them. And I'm not seeing very many of these in here either. So maybe it was just that variety, not the fabric pots? Yeah, all right. That one, not so good. That's all we got. Plastic pot number three. Three. How am I losing count already? Loosen up this soil. That's a big one. That one started to grow more, huh? Mm-hmm. Got some smalls. Got a lot of, look at the, some tiny ones. This one here was definitely starting to grow a couple more right on there. I probably could have left it go longer, but we got to get that fall garden going, folks. Oh, I see some. They're coming. Coming. There's one. That one's got a little growth on it. Get out of here. Don't you dare. No. All, right, all the way in the bottom of the pot. The other ones didn't have any that went down this far. But this one, it did. So that's good. Again, not very many, but. More than we had if we didn't grow them. I think if you're trying to start a bucket farm and you've got a ton of buckets, then you're gonna have a ton of potatoes that you can grow in here. It works, and you get some good taters. I mean, that one's, you know, about the size of my palm. So, yeah, they worked. You want potatoes? No potatoes. You can't have uncooked potatoes. <laughs> Having a little trouble there? Yeah, I tied them up too good. Now for the big boy. This is gonna be a little bit messy, Court. We're probably just gonna have to shovel the dirt up when we're done. Okay. One of the nice things about these is that um, I can just lift them up and shush the dirt around. Shush it. Yep, you can see that uh, we've got some good growth still coming here. Uh, that all just started pretty recently. But like I said, we're moving on, folks. I tried to feed you a tomato and now you're pecking my leg instead. Drum roll, please. All uh, right. Ow. So it looks like in this first layer we're getting two. There we go. There's one. There's one. That one broke open. Quite a bit. There's a tater. Yep. I'm a potato. Just trying to make sure I don't have any small ones in like, oh, there we go. This is like digging for gold in here. Look at that. Here. There they are. Get out of here. If you don't recall or you missed the video, I planted five potato plants in each of these bins to see what I would get. Was it too much? Was it just enough? I figured I would experiment so I knew and then next year I could do it differently. 
because I didn't know if they would grow or not and I wanted at least some of them to grow whoop there we go starting to get there I think they all shot down towards the bottom which we're about to find out I guess let's hope I mean I got quite a few in there now better than last year's potato harvest yeah <laughs> Incremental improvement. I mean, that's what this is about. You know, making small improvements, learning, adjusting, and then eventually you've got it sort of figured out, right? I mean, I don't know. That's what I assume these people were able to do. I mean, I assumed I'd have a lot of things figured out by this age. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Forgot about that. Oh, I got some falling out the side here. Whoop, whoop. That's good news. There's the one. Taters. Okay, I'm feeling, oh, man. I'm feeling look, good. Look I'm this. feeling good. Get a shot of that right there. Look. Oh, yeah. There's one. That is a big potato. I got a couple over here already falling out. Look at that. Yes. That's good news. Woohoo! Alright, not tell me. I'm thinking that one of the other reasons the fabric pots didn't do so well is because I think I put like three plants in them they probably just didn't have the room to produce so yeah. I'm gonna try next year the fabric pots again because why not and I'll just put one in ooh look at that guy all right I'm gonna put this guy in this bed behind me because it's still going oh yeah this Pontiacs actually did pretty well you think these are still Pontiacs? I thought the Pontiacs had purple flesh. Um, there were Pontiacs with purple and Pontiacs without. That's a rock. <laughs> Not a potato. Don't no. bite into that. That looks like one of your gourds. It's a gourd potato. It's a gordado. Gordito! Gord <laughs> gordado? Look. Okay, I think that is our final one from that pot. Well, I would have to say that uh, we did a fantastic job in the potato growing bins and what's nice about the growing bins is you're growing up versus you know growing out um, it doesn't take up as much space as if you were kind of planting them in rows and we got a pretty good harvest gonna move on to the final potato growing bin hopefully we can get it in before dark and see what we come up with this one doesn't have anything left growing on it, so I think we should be okay to see what we get. Do you think this one actually was done earlier or it died? Um, I think that this one stopped getting as much sun. Ah. All right. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> in that first layer of dirt. I don't know if that's a good sign or what. Woo, that was almost my toe. You'll be all right. You don't really use those toes anyway. I see one. <laughs> it's starting to get nervous. I know, I, start, I was really getting nervous here. Were we gonna see a potato or not? Ugh. Oh, I gotta slow down, I think. Well, Ooh, look how purple that guy is. That is a really deep purple. Whoa, look at this. You getting go. that color, Here Court? We go. You getting that color? This is like a fossil hunt. Yeah, I. Ooh, Ooh look. There we go. I'm a potato. Let's get them out before I lose them. Oh, my goodness. Oh yeah. Man, these look way better than those other ones. They're, They're so purple. And consistently sized. Yeah, look at that. Oh man, I'm loving this. I think I still have seed potatoes left from these, so I'll have to look at exactly what I grew. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yep. Get that one out of there. You're I'm gonna, it. It's in the next level. Just calm down. I'm trying to get through this level first. I don't like your system. I don't like your systems, Courtney. Whew! 
I'm sweating. I'm digging for taters and sweating. Last one. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh. Jackpot. I think the worms really, really help this situation. I don't actually know how many are in here because Bridget just kept throwing them in. But that's okay. But we think this one got a lot of worms. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Look at all these. Oh. Still going. They're so purple. I love this. You know, if I just tried to serve you a purple potato, you would complain. Oh, I would not. Why can't we just have a plain potato? Wow. All right, what's wrong with just regular yellow taters? Well, that's the last of our potato harvest. The winners are definitely the potato bins. The potatoes are not only more consistently sized, but they also look better. Um, where they're bigger, and there's more of them. I'm going to stick with the potato bins for sure maybe go a tier higher than we did this year we think would we go three tiers we could probably go four or five yeah we'll probably still do some of the buckets i'll try to do the fabric pots a little bit differently but we know for sure that these work i won't probably put five plants in there i'm probably gonna stick with three see what we get out of that plastic pot number one number two Number three, potato growing bin number one, potato growing bin number two. Well, I've definitely learned quite a bit about growing potatoes this year, and I'm really, really excited about it. As is with growing anything, it's a learning experience, it's a journey, it's something that you just gotta figure out, really. I mean, I didn't really know what this was gonna turn out. I just had a lot of experiments, and I just wanted to see what was gonna happen. As long as I had some taters at the end, I gonna be happy. I really thought that those fabric pots would do better. Uh, maybe I just didn't cut big enough, but uh, I don't really know. But that's what I'm gonna have to figure out and that's what I need to, to sort out and learn and improve my potato growing experience and process so I can get a fantastic harvest. I'm not disappointed with this harvest. It's a good harvest for us because it's the first time that we've grown them well. That's positive man that is that is I, I can't even tell you what that is it's just I feel good I'm feeling pretty good if you want to find out how to grow these potato boxes that I grew check out the video down below and if you want to see how I started this whole ordeal check out this other video down below I'll see you when that one starts